What is up, riders? It's Paul with another ride home review, and we, as usual, it's uh, the time where we, this time of the week there we talk about the new stream, the newer stream of the week, and we are going to be talking about Ford versus Ferrari. Mm. Ford versus Ferrari, which is directed by James Mangold, stars Christian Bale, uh, Matt Damon, John Bernthal, and Josh Lucas. And before we get into that, let us uh, do not forget to subscribe to Ride Home Reviews on your favorite podcasting platform, as well as YouTube, and uh, like on Facebook, and follow on Instagram. Before we get into that, or no, after that, now, um, let us talk about what Ford vs. Ferrari is about. Well, it is basically a biopic. It's a place and time in which uh, Carol Shelby has been a uh, world-renowned race car driver has been uh, recruited by Ford Motor Company to develop a race car um, to compete with Ferrari in um, the international race known as Le Mans. So that's the story. It's uh, based on a true story. And so, what did I like about this film? Well, to be honest, there really wasn't much to not like about this film. Um, I I went in with the premise with I already know that it was nominated for a bunch of stuff, and um, and the cast speaks for itself. At least the stars, the two stars, and so. I don't know if I was quite swayed to go see it um, in the movie theater, but I just, I didn't get a chance to. And so now that I think about it, I wish I would have seen it in a movie theater because first of all, uh, what I, what I really liked about this film was the fact that Christian Bale is absolutely outstanding. And, and in fact, to be honest, the cast is really good. Christian Bale is, I would say, put on the the best performance out of them all. But the performances by everybody um, was was great. I mean, everybody fell into their character, and they didn't break. They didn't walk over each other, talk over each other. They they knew exactly what they had to do, and it was really well done. Josh Lucas, his character was a weasel and he portrayed that well i liked john bernthal he wasn't over over bearing i mean because lee iacocca if you live in michigan is a, is a larger than life was a was a larger than life guy at least 20 years ago and that's who john bernthal plays 20 30 years ago and so um i don't know if he underplayed it but at the same time he did a really good job at, at, at portraying that role. And then of course, Tracy Letts as, as Henry Ford, the second, or as they referred to him as the deuce. Um, and, but as outside the cast, which was absolutely outstanding. Um, the two things that stuck out to me, uh, with this was, uh, the cinematography and the edit editing. The cinematography just was beautifully shot. Beautiful. Um, just so much color. So, so, it just was even. But at the same time, it just gave you this wide expanse of these this larger-than-life event. And so it was just really, it was really awesome to see. And the editing... I mean, you going from the race, the race car scenes to, ah, man, it was just, it was well done. It was well constructed, well played. It was well paced. It was, there wasn't really a dull moment, um, in, in the, in the film that I can recall or, or a, a misplaced scene or, uh, anything like that. And, and it was a two and a half hour movie and it did, it just moved along in which, exactly what you need to do with that um so 
I mean, all of those pieces fell into place and it was really well constructed and well developed in that end. The one, uh, a couple of things that I did, didn't care for, there's only a couple because it was a really, really well done movie. Um, number one, I wasn't wowed by the story. I just felt the story was ho hum. It was all these other artistic pieces put together that made this movie what it was. The story in and of itself was not something that really puts you over the edge, or I wouldn't say it had uh, some of the greatest lines. In fact, there were a couple good lines, but I, it just, but it was just well played by the players and and the and the creative staff that put this together um uh the other thing i didn't like for for it and i know that i said that there were par parts that didn't matter um or there was there was there weren't parts that seemed every part that mattered i'm gonna go back on that a little bit and say that one thing that i didn't like was that it had that issue of not knowing when to end it should have ended two scenes prior because it did drag out unnecessarily not enough to ruin the whole flow and pacing of the film but it still it, it just didn't need to drag on the way it did so um that was it other than that what to watch for there's a particular shot that I saw that they did in the Daytona race that I thought was absolutely outstanding. I hope you picked that out. I'm not going to give it away. I'm just going to give it a scene. That's it. Go see the movie. It's uh, You can rent it on Apple Apple TV right now or on the iTunes store or whatever it is, you whatever you want to call it, but you can go see it there. Um, and... Don't forget, like I said, to subscribe to Ride Home Reviews on your favorite podcasting platform, including Apple Podcasts, as well as see this on YouTube, like on Facebook, follow on Instagram. And until next time, and I give this movie a yes. This movie is rated a yes, and we'll stick with that. And until next time, go watch something cool. See you, everybody. <laughs>